Hi friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team and I'll be using the Flutterby and Messy Butterflies cut files in one layout. Whenever Virginia comes out with butterfly, butterfly cut files, I go crazy. And this layout is going to do just that. I'm going to be incorporating two different cut files. And if having two butterfly cut files weren't enough, I'm using two different pattern papers that have butterflies on them. But as I was looking for these patterned papers, I saw this wreath from uh, this wreath paper from Pink Fresh Studio, and they the leaves they're not butterflies I know, but the leaves had colors that I wanted to use in my layout. So and I did not plan this, but I trimmed, I, I cut out the wreath cut file to the same size as that wreath. So I'm going to incorporate it as well. Now to keep things simple, I'm going to back all the butterflies with this pinkish um, butterfly paper. And I'm going to back the center where the messy circles are. Um, I'm going to back them with the other more creamish, light yellow. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll see what I mean in a bit. Um, so, you know, since I'm not, you know, I'm not um, cutting out any of the like different, I'm not making the butterflies any different color or whatnot. Um, I, it, it's a pretty simple layout. Um, by having the butterflies in the same color, it also helps like, um, like it doesn't busy up the layout too much. At least I don't think so. So the reason that I just backed the center is because I wanted the leaves also to pop, to like be seen, um, because if I covered the entire cut file, like I, if I let if I had let the center in, um, you wouldn't have been able to appreciate the leaves either. Um, and by backing the centers, like the, not the centers, but the messy circles, see, that's what I mean. By backing the messy circles, it gave me, um, it gave me a, a, a place to place the, the craft foam. And you know me, I can't stay away from mixed media. So I'm going to be adding just some splotches of color beneath where the other butterflies from Flutter B or Flutter Free, <laughs> the other butterflies um, are going to be so that they can pop up a bit. And the colors that I'm using are blue jeans Pop Art Pink, Pink Moscato, Cotton Candy, and Roving in the Hay. And all those colors are from Shimmers. I love me some Shimmers. And then, you know, I splatter some more of the same colors. And then one of the colors that I didn't use the packaging technique with was this one, and it's called um, Chance of Rain, which is the same sort of gray, dark grayish blue. I am just rolling it with the, my, how I'm describing colors today. <laughs> Then the final color that I splattered was Minor Minor 49er, which is a nice gold color. And this is what I mean that by backing the circles, I, I can now um, pop up the entire cut file onto some craft foam and sort of 
that be its own, you know, that, what is wrong with me today? Yeah, anyways, just so that I can have some dimension in my layout. <laughs> it's just one of those days, it's, it's like, um, I'm talking in English, but my brain, and my brain is just like in Spanish mode. So, yeah. Hopefully I'm making enough sense that you can understand what I'm trying to say and what's going on in the video. All right, so the other butterflies, I'm not gonna back them. I'm just gonna leave them as is. I don't know, but they remind me as if like they were made of lace. I don't know, I, I love them. Now I'm just going to add them in. Um, I'm adding two to the right hand side and two to the left hand side one of the ones that's on the left hand the right hand side i've layered onto the other butterfly because the way that the butterfly was which is you know on its side i didn't like i don't know i just didn't like how it looked just sitting there on its own so i just layered it on top and then once I was done with that, I was like, okay, let me go start looking for my embellishments and try to look for some cardstock or patterned paper to map my pictures. My picture, which up to this point, you haven't seen my picture at all. I'm just, I've just been working and there we go. That's my picture. And it's a true six by four. Um, I thought about using, um, you know that striped one I do use it but I first matte it with some pink to make this because this picture looks dark um, it's actually like that on purpose and then I add another layer of patterned paper with that striped one because it just blends all the gorgeous colors together and then a little bit of a backstory about this picture is it's one of those awesome pictures um, you know if you've tried to take pictures with kids before you know that you have to take like 300 in order to be able to get like four decent ones and this was one of them this picture was taken on Mother's Day 2020 and it was one of those things that I had asked my my husband to to like gift me um, was a photo shoot on Mother's Day that and that I wasn't going to cook any of the three meals so um, he was the one that's that was going to be in charge um, and he did he did um, you know and I love that I love that you know about him he's he definitely spoils me I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say no he doesn't spoil me because he does <laughs> he does anywho but going back to this layout I have a lot of go going on between the cut file and the background. The picture is pretty large. So what I'm going to do is just keep my embellishments to a minimum. Um, and I do some of the embellishments. I pop up on some craft foam. Yeah, someone's a bit fuzzy today. So yeah, um, the tag I'm also adding, um, wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm adding a tag because I don't know what, what it is about tags, but I've been loving, you know, I love adding them more. I'm, like, I've used them in the last three or four layouts. So yeah, I love that I can tie something up at the top and yeah add a bit of texture to to my layout as well so this picture was of me of wait of my two sons and i and i just love it um my youngest who i'm holding in my arms is smiling at the camera and even though you can't really like pick it up, my oldest is not necessarily smiling at the camera, but
but he's like looking at the camera, which is good enough, good enough. Uh, again, if you've taken pictures with kids, it's a bit tough to take, you know, um, very perfect pictures. So now that I'm done with my embellishments, I grab some taupe of the morning and splatter it all over the layout because I like using mixed media to tie things in. Then I wanted to add a bit of sparkle, so I used some of the orangey, peachy sequins from the Toes in the Sand sequin packet. And here are the close-ups. I love how this layout turned out. I love it. I do. And guys, I hope I've inspired you to get your stories documented. Be sure to check out the both cut files over at Virginia's Etsy shop, Kappa Cup Files. And yeah, I'll see you to I'll see you next time with another process video.